Today we are getting VM information from VMware using PowerShell. Hey there, it's Tom, Tom's Tech Show. And um, today we're talking about, um, I had a comment actually on a video about how do I get information um, about a virtual machine in VMware using PowerShell. So it, it's something you're gonna do and once you're getting into using PowerShell, you're gonna be connecting in, doing a lot of this stuff, you know, getting the information about the VM, uh, what IP address, what memories he's using and, and, and stuff like that. So it's a good thing to do, good, good knowledge to have. So one of the first things that we need to do um, when we're connecting is to install the module uh, from VMware. I'm using uh, PowerShell 7. So this is one of the later versions of, of PowerShell. And uh, we need to install that module. And that's done simply install dash module dash name vmware.powercli. This is gonna go get that code and download it. So as you're installing module from an untrusted repository, this is the general repository that's out there um, that VMware posts everything to. So it's okay to uh, allow this. So I can hit A for yes to all, because there's several modules that are gonna be coming over. And then this will go out and download and install these. So it might take a second or two. You can see uh, kind of behind me that I've, things are in disarray. We're still packing um, for our move and stuff, but that's, you know, the house we were looking at getting that fell through. So now we've got to travel back and, and do the whole thing all over again. But, you know, such so is the way house hunting goes. It's just uh, a long trip across country. Um, good thing we have a good realtor um, uh, to kind of figure that out and work that out, which is the first good realtor I've ever found in my life. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy that it's taken, you know, so long, many houses and many realtors going through to, to be able to do that and uh, get one that's actually worth anything. Uh, had one realtor, uh, we were buying a house and the realtor kept calling us thinking we were the seller and starts giving us information. I'm like, whoa, 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 you need to stop because, you know, you're talking to the wrong person. And they could never figure that out. They couldn't figure out who they're talking to, whatever. But I'm like, you know, this isn't rocket science. You know, it's, you know, it's crazy. So we're still downloading a few items here, um, getting all these packages downloaded and installed. You really only have to do this once. And then once that's done, then you can just load the module and go from there instead of having to download this whole package. But uh, this is the first time you do it. It's gonna have to install all of this stuff. All right, now that we have the module there, we need to import that module. VMware. Power CLI. Okay, it's going to ask me, do I want to join the participation thing? We can set this value later. Uh, now it's going to load all the modules. I think there's one module that it uh, fails on because it's not supported in the core version of PowerShell, which is fine. Okay. Now that we need to connect to the server, our server is VC1. And it's going to ask me for a username and password. Here momentarily. There we go. Password. And now we are connected. So that gets us to a point where we can get lists of all our, our VMs and everything else. So I can do get VM. And we're going to deal with the AD, KMS, 
one server and that's going to give us information about that so this kind of looks like a little tiny thing it just says okay it's adkms1 and it's powered on and it's got two cpus and four gigs of memory well that's not a lot of information how do i get more information well there is more information coming over it's not just not showing it so if we format it as a list you can do format list or the shorter version of that which is fl format list we can see that boom there's a ton of information that comes over we have the power state what guest is the number of cpus the the host that it's on um, a lot of different things here come over when we do the format list and those are all brought over when we're doing this so it's you know it's it's in the the system, it just by default isn't showing at all. So we can do some other things here. Let's clear this off. Okay, we can do uh, our get VM. And we can have, we can look at guest IP address. And that will bring us back the IP addresses of the system now if we just want one if we just want the first one then we can do that and that will give us just the first ip address there of it so there's a lot of different things even inside the guest set of information like if i just do guest here it's going to give me this small short list but if i do format list then boom we get a ton of other information listed out here that we can use to uh Pull in information, you can find out, you know, things about the host. You can find out, you know, what memory the host has and what the host is running on. Because um, there's, uh, let's see if we come back here, just do this. Just do that and go format list. Okay, so here we have the VM host. So if we come back and we do dot VM host, format list then it'll come up here in a second this one takes a little bit longer because it's actually going out and polling the host and I'm connected over IPsec okay so now we get some information here uh, we get some things like uh, uh, the total memory and the memory use so we can see kind of that percentage of how much memory is in use that may be the host that this one is on you know this vm is running slow you can see uh, the total megahertz of cpu and what is being used if the cpu was high and these two numbers were close together that would tell you i need to probably move this vm to another host because it's you know use utilizing too much memory and you can create scripts that through this you can set these things these different things that we're doing to variables and be able to push those scripts you know and run those scripts on a you know maybe on a regular basis set them in a scheduler so that it maybe emails you information uh, about what's going on and be able to see that so yeah a lot of information that we can get by using you know the get vm command and be able to get find out tons of things other than just what you're seeing from just a little base thing that just oh it's powered on no there's a ton of information behind that so feel free to go through and start looking at different uh you know things that come after that that you know that decimal there so you put a parentheses in the front parentheses at the end hit dot and then you can start going through and tabbing through all of the different things that are in here so then you can get to guest and hit another dot and start tabbing through all those things and still there's still more information you know like the host name boom there's your host name so and you can use those as let set them to variables in scripts and then manipulate that and do whatever you need to do all right so that is getting vm information from a host in vmware using powershell i mean you can get a ton of stuff in there you can find out what snapshots are there you can set snapshots you can do all kinds of things um, with that all right well 
got any questions about that, or you wanted any other commands uh, researched and exposed and videos made about it, just comment down below and I'll make those make those videos. I've done quite a bit with VMware and uh, PowerShell and stuff. I have command and control systems that run entire environments, you know, based on load and different things and bringing systems up and down based on requests and, and all kinds of stuff. So I know this stuff pretty good. So um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you.